Hey, it's Mark Loftus. Welcome to Post TV at NAB 2014 in Las Vegas. I'm here with Patrick Morgan of Digital Vision. Patrick, welcome. Thank you, Mark. Uh, you guys are, have a presence at NAB all the time. I mean, and maybe we could start with a little bit of a background on the company and what you guys offer. Yeah, we've uh, we've been we've been to NAB more times than I can, can care to remember, really, as as usual. And it's yep. only day one. Um, we've been around for 25 years uh, as a company. Uh, and we, we really started, our pedigree started in image processing with, okay. a, with a DVNR. That was uh, kind of the staple of um, Telecine Suites uh, for the last 20 years or so. And uh, we've moved into uh, other fields, color correction, archive, uh, restoration, preservation. But at the heart of it, we, we are image processing. That, that, that is what we do. Hardware-based, software-based service, or well, at um, at some point, you know, with the DVNR, it was all hardware-based back right. in back in the day, and then everything moved to software. But we we're actually going back to bespoke hardware because we we found that for what we need to do, uh, for the quality that people require, and for 4K and and all the other formats, we needed to build us something that could do what we needed to do. And when you talk about image processing, where in the workflow is that processing taking place? I mean, is it after the transcoding? Is it during a color process? Is it more of a finishing process? Yeah, it's it's kind of part of the finishing um, for a lot of people, for, for people doing color grading. Um, on the commercial side, they might um, recognize noisy images right up front, so we can pre-process that so that by the time the client walks in, they're grading clean images. Okay. Um, other times, you know, the guys are busy grading and something nasty jumps out, so we can fix it there. Mm -hmm. um, and then for other processing, um, things like um, uh, a film archive and that, that's obviously just happens as it's as it's needed. And if it's hardware-based, is it in mach a machine room or is there some kind of controller where the artist has uh, connectivity to it? Yeah, absolutely. The 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 algorithms that we currently have um, are actually basically plugins for our. Um, uh, our restoration and our grading tools, which is uh, Nucoda and Phoenix. Mm -hmm. uh, but we've we've built a card called Thor, because it's a Scandinavian company, <laughs> so it's all it's all it's all mythological. Based on, yeah, yeah. So so we've built a, car, a card called Thor, um, with the biggest processes we could find, and that, that's a single card that can fit into any workstation that will do uh, that will process particularly process our algorithms, and we can do 4K in real time. Um, or four streams of HD in, in real time with that card. Okay, and it brings us to NAB now 2014. Yep. What do you guys have that's uh, new or interesting for the show? So on the on the color grading front, Nikoda has been around for a long time, but it's been a lot of commoditization in, in that in that field. So um, we've uh, um, uh, repackaged that and we've uh, uh, lowered the price considerably. The price of entry has come down a lot on, on, the, on, on color grading. Uh, we have a new film scanner, which is designed for preservation and archive, uh, mm -hmm. called GoldenEye 4, um, with new optics. And then we have Thor, and we have uh, an archive workflow uh, product called Bifrost. Once again, Swedish mythology. So, Tell us about Bifrost and the archiving. What is the... Uh so, media that you're using for something like that. So, so the problem with uh, with film archives at the moment is, of course, that they're disappearing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, things are getting worse and worse every day. So, Bifrost is a archive workflow that we've designed that will allow um, the archive owners to go from uh, scanning or from checking the film, logging the film, scanning, restoration, through to archive and. Um, and actually, uh, kind of deliverables mm -hmm. in one chain. Okay. Um, so uh, it's all it's all in one it's all in one chain, uh, and it's 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 so important for for archive owners and for film uh, libraries to get the stuff going. Mm -hmm. But everybody's putting it off because of the amount of work that it is. Mm -hmm. You know, forty five thousand hours is, uh, you know, what one of our clients have got. Okay. Uh, just 16 mil film. That's a lot of film to fix. And you mentioned that you have a scanner too, and that fits right along into the archiving Ab workflow that you. Absolutely. Um, the 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 new scanner, uh, GoldenEye 4, uh, we have um, the new um, universal optics, which will allow us to scan any format from 8 mil mm -hmm. to 70. 
without changing the lenses. So any kind of weird archive formats that existed in, you know, uh, in, in, in Europe, there's some pretty strange arch you know, film formats. Okay. And we'll cover all of those in one transport and with one optical system. Are these ready for delivery or is it coming up after the show? It's coming up after the show, but we are showing it um, at the show. So, uh, you know, that's NAB for you. Yeah, well, we appreciate you coming by Post TV, sharing the news with us so it's early. It's a pleasure. In the show. Thank you again, Patrick. Digital Vision, check them out. How about your website? Uh, www.digitalvision.se. Excellent. Thanks again. Cheers. We'll be back. We will. Um.